What's up folks, welcome back to the Entertainment Network's Weekly Roundup. I'm David Craig and let's kick things off this week with a follow-up to one of last week's stories. On last week's show we were talking about how Jurassic World had just become the third highest grossing film of all time, making over $1.5 billion and I said I'd be very surprised if we didn't see a sequel greenlit very soon. Well, call me a fortune teller, but just a few hours after that episode was uploaded, the news broke that we would indeed be seeing a sequel to Jurassic World. So far, the only cast members confirmed to be returning are Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard. Meanwhile, Colin Trevorrow, who directed Jurassic World, will be returning to write the screenplay but has said on numerous occasions that he will not be directing. The sequel, tentatively titled Jurassic World 2, will be released on June 22nd, 2018. In other news, there are a lot of comic book movie headlines this week, with the biggest one being that Channing Tatum is reportedly on the brink of leaving the upcoming Gambit solo movie. Tatum has been attached to the Gambit project for quite some time now and has expressed much enthusiasm for portraying the character since being cast in the role. It's because of this that Tatum's rumoured attempts to exit the project are very surprising, with the cause of this breakdown in negotiations currently unknown. The Gambit spin-off was originally scheduled for release in October of 2016, however if Tatum successfully removes himself from the project, you can expect that release date to be pushed back or even for the Gambit project to be cancelled completely. This continues what's been a rough year for Tatum, with February's Jupiter Ascending being an utter a box office flop while Magic Mike XXL also performed far worse than the first film in the series. The high profile Gambit project could have been the film that kicks his career back into high gear, so it's quite puzzling that he tried to drop out this late in the game. Another big comic book movie headline this week was that Chris Pine, star of the rebooted Star Trek films, has officially been cast in the upcoming Wonder Woman solo movie as DC Comics character Steve Trevor. Trevor has been around for as long as Wonder Woman has, making his debut in the early 1940s. Chris Pine's version of a character, however, will likely be based on the rebooted New 52 version, where Trevor acts as the US government liaison to Wonder Woman during her many visits to Washington DC, while also serving as a love interest. Now Chris Pine is another actor with a pretty dodgy box office track record, with recent films Jack Ryan, Shadow Recruit and Horrible Bosses 2 both pulling in underwhelming hauls. No doubt he'll be hoping that a spot in DC Cinematic Universe will be just the shot in the arm his career needs, especially in a role that will likely extend across multiple films. Finally, at a panel during the Television Critics Association, ex-Daredevil showrunner Stephen S.D. Knight revealed that the reason Rosario Dawson isn't playing Night Nurse in the Netflix series is because Marvel Studios have plans to put Night Nurse in one of their upcoming films. Many fans then immediately assumed that the character would make her debut in the upcoming Doctor Strange movie as the two characters have a history with one another. This then led to Rachel McAdams, who's been in talks to take on the female lead in Doctor Strange, also being connected to the role. Ultimately, this entire story is based on assumptions, but I wanted to include it anyway because I think it's interesting, and also I'm quite disappointed that Rosaria Dawson isn't playing the MCU equivalent of Night Nurse because I really enjoyed her character on the show. Out this week in the United States, we have Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, which sees Tom Cruise return to the role of Ethan Hunt for the fifth time in a film that some critics are calling the best instalment in the Mission Impossible franchise to date. Indeed, if you're looking for a film to go see this weekend, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation seems like a solid bet. The film is expected to open very highly, with Mission Impossible 6 allegedly already in the works. The other wide release this week is the long-awaited new instalment in the Vacation franchise. The series has been dormant ever since the critically panned Vegas vacation back in 1990. So the question is, is this a triumphant return for this much loved franchise that fans have been crying out for? Well, sadly, no. Despite generating a lot of buzz in the lead up to its release, the film's early reviews have been almost universally negative, suggesting that this film lacks the heart of the original Vacation films and is indeed just another generic R-rated comedy. It's also quite troubling that Marvel Studios recently put their new Spider-Man film in the hands of the two guys who wrote this critically panned disaster. That makes me very worried for Spider-Man's first solo outing in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Let's just hope these guys don't screw up Spider-Man for the third time in a row. Could he recover? That's your roundup for this week. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you'll like the video, subscribe to this channel, and let me know your thoughts on this week's top stories in the comments section below. I'm David Craig, and this is the Entertainment Network's Weekly Roundup.